Hey folks, Aaron here, and welcome back to an anime review. Today we're looking at episode 12 of Darling of the Franks. Now, a lot of revelations this week. Oh my god, a lot of revelations. We see Zero Two definitely far from being human. I mean, that ending scene where we see her as like, will look like a, a almost Oni demon of sorts, she goes to show that she definitely is not human. Um, you know, that's... It's kind of to be expected. I mean, we saw her hordes growing out of her head slightly more than for the fact that she went, like, batshit crazy on Hero during this week's episode and even, like, ascended into the cockpit into a weird, like, red form and started choking him so she could meet her darling from back then. You know, I'm starting to think that Hero definitely is not the same. Maybe, maybe he has memories of someone else. Maybe that's probably the best way I could put it. Like, you know, he has memories of meeting this creature, which is AK-02, but at the same time, you know, he still thinks that they're not his, or he really doesn't understand why he's remembering certain things, and he can't remember certain places and all that. And they would go into kind of thing with, with uh, our lo last character, I think, from last week's episode, uh, Mit was it Mitsuru? Who, you know, told, told us that, you know, he hated Hero for that reason, where he had forgotten all about their promise that they made. So what if, what if, you know, Hero was essentially someone else at one time or maybe had memories implanted in him it's very possible i would think and even more so for the fact that you know it seems like he, he's able to you know withstand certain things also more than other uh, pilots for for a fact of we see that apparently zero two uh piloting with him is causing his genetic uh makeup to change and he started to become more akin to what a creature is so a monster like zero two and we, you know, we saw that he already went through that metamorphosis very early on with that whole blue thing that was on his chest. So, it is very possible that Hero is something entirely other than human also himself. And it just was kind of bred into a certain way and then was maybe implanted memories into him or something like that. I would think that's a possibility. Um, but yeah, Zero Two was very aggressive this week for the f fact that, you know, she pushed herself onto him and yeah we see we hear her say he's a, a darling from the past which means that she's looking for someone else which is very curious from that uh you know i would say also besides even just that you know besides the story elements the actor this week was really insane zero two going all out with killing those claxors and the way she was doing it fighting like a legit a beast herself it was really cool to see that and we also meet the uh, the nines as they called where we find out that she was uh, zero two was originally on that team way back when, but she didn't like them and really found it very hard to be with them. But the nines apparently are genetically ten times stronger or more efficient than what you know squad thirteen is like. So it's like it's curious. You know, we're we're starting to see that they are def definitely genetic humans. We we know this already from how they're raised up and stuff like that. But why are they taken before a certain age? Why are they taken if they get sent back? What happens to them? I would almost find it weird to, to, to kind of just let them their bodies go on and, and die out or just kill them meaninglessly. I would think that maybe they use parts of them or even use their, their energies or something, their souls, memories, to infuse into another child and then kind of keep their progress going, which is very possible. I mean, that's what I think personally. And if you've seen, you know, other trigger stuff, like, for example, Kiznaiver, Kiznaiver focused on, you know, bonding people via their emotions. So what is it, you know, so impossible that we have, like, you know, someone taking memories out of one person, implanting them to another, and then and ca and causing their bodies to undergo changes so they can be genetically 10 times stronger than the last one was? It's not impossible. I mean, I'm still thinking that it is a possibility of clones too, but we, we really haven't seen any evidence of clones. So it's like, that one's to me is a far-fetched idea, but more so with Hero being this, this, I want to say, advanced being, that seems to be something very interesting to me. I'm very curious what, what uh, Darling the Franks has in store for us in, in the further episodes. But what do you guys are thinking about the story? What do you guys, you know, what are your theories and all that? I would love to hear from you, as always, in the comments below. I love this episode. I think it was a really cool episode. Everything worked really well for it. Animation was on point this week, and just the, the epicness of everything was really interesting. And also that, like, that flu like i want to say not flu so, so, uh, of different theories and stuff like that i'm thinking of now really were kind of in, in heightened by this week's episode so i'm like mm -mm, i'm curious i want to see what happens next anyways i will talk to you guys later i'm done with my review for today um i have special videos out for tomorrow which is april fools don't worry you know let's, let's see what happens with tomorrow maybe i'll make one maybe i won't who knows <laughs> anyways talk to you guys later god bless you all have a great night everyone Bye bye